Gorgeous night. It's a lovely night. I'm all right to this Kivaik. No, we're going to go different from Kivaik. We're Kivike. not in Kivaik? Nah, not today. What are we doing, son? Saison. Saison. Right, uh, do you know how much grain we need? I got 5.2 here. We'll do a 5% uh, Saison. <laughs> <laughs> got to do a speedy brew tonight. Quick one. Point to it. Who done? Not on my anniversary, no. <laughs> Let's go for it. So this is 5.2 kilos of Pilsner Mall. So why are we doing, why are we doing a, a saison, Phil? We've done saisons before and they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So the temperature now, what, what were we up to? 30, uh, we need 28 to 32 degrees. I'll put it on screen. Yeah. They can correct Phil. <laughs> Phil, you got it wrong. Next one. Yep. Any dough balls? No dough balls. Can we get away with a, a 30, 40 minute mash? So oh, see what we have brought. Refactometer. I have got the... Um, you, you say hydrometer, you're going to say? Yeah, I've got a hydrometer. And I'm going to say that's going to be no good. Because the temperature. Because it'll smash. I'll have a taste. Might need to order a hydrometer. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if I give it you. Yeah. Another part of the challenge is we don't have any light in, so we have to be quick. So the challenge is to get Dan home for nine o'clock. He's stirring well, though. He's got a bit of uh, impetus on the old stir. How much liquid have you got in this spell? 17 litres. 17 litres. Yeah. And we go for about 23 litres. Yeah. Yeah, about a size of 40 pints. And that's it. One malt. Fills the malt. Okay, so we are on now. Uh, 64 degrees. Oh, we're trying out GoPros today as well. And the swing lid on, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Lid on. Lid on. Mashed in. Mashed in. It was. I think that's the quickest we mashed in, Phil. I'm going to do a quick recirculation. Extremely pale, this one. Is that? <laughs> Sanding down. We're just mashing out at 75 degrees C, Phil. Short one this time. 40 minutes mash in, then a 10 minute mash out. <coughs> Go up to 10 and a 10 minute mash out. Tapping and done. We're about to raise the grain. We need the thing. What do the we ring. need, Dan? The ring of fire. Do you know what? I think we might we might do this within the... within the. Um... Oh, it's going to take a while for us to do that, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of liquid in there. Getting on now, yeah. And then we just took the rest in. Yeah, and, I, and I'll put this temperature up. Yo, Colander, why do we use Colander, Dan? So we can get the peas out. <laughs> Here we go. You enjoying your beer? Do you want another beer now? I'll have another beer, Phil. Why not? Uh, got those when you bought from Lidl. Oh, well, well, no, sir. There you go. Okay. We've got a bit of roly, roly, boily, boily. Yeah, just about rolling. The hops are Cascade. How many grams? It's 24. Should we put this in? No, not. Not at the moment. We'll dip the sack in. Dip the sack. Uh, dip the sack. Yeah, I don't put a knot in it. You don't want a knot? No, I don't want a knot. We've got loads of, loads of additions in it. Here we go. Go. Half on, half off. Job done. Why is it half on, half off? Because there's nasties in there need to escape. I can't remember what they're called. Dimethyl sulfides, commonly referred to as DMS, are compounds produced while boiling a wort. You need to boil uncovered to cook off these offensive compounds. They smell like vegetables. The ME, is it? No, isn't that the malt? Dry malt extract. <laughs> it's not dry malt extract. <laughs> it's. it's... De De Dexter. Dexter? He's an. <laughs> hey, Dexter, son, are you coming out? It makes it taste. Um... Should we cut this bit? Yeah, cut this bit because we're really mistake. Right then, so Dan, we are um, going to add in... The second hop edition. second hop edition. Yeah, if I open the sack. Sass. Sass. 48 grams 48 of sass. 48 grams of yeah. sass. Going in. Bit sassy. Dip, dip, double dip. Next hop edition in 20 minutes. We didn't make it, Dan. We didn't make it. We said we were going to make... Make finish the, the brew night before we went dark. But the sun's just come out. Look at it shining off Dan's yeah. face. Ten minutes to go to boil. Okay, so last last hot edition, is it? Last hot edition. We've got some lovely stuff going in now. Coil's got to go in as well. Coil's got to go in, hasn't it? Ten minutes to go. Why do you put the coil in, coil in now, Dan? To sterilise it, Phil. To sterilise it. Sterilise it. All right, so coil in. There we go. Blue tubes off. Our regular yep. couple of followers will know that Dan, I, I, Dan always forgets to take these off. Yes. Bloody hell! <laughs> Shot the chair. <laughs> Post flock tablet. Yeah, that goes straight in. Flop. Stinks. And hop edition. Cascade. Cascade. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Oh, beautiful. On your sack. What? Don't get. And we've got some beautiful stuff going in now. Oh. Some coriander seeds and some black peppercorns. Oh, it's a fancy steak. It's in now, is it? Yeah. The... In the sack. The orange zest. Now you're going to have to do it's your mammoth well. full <laughs> effort this time, Dan. Oh. 
Be careful, my sack. Yeah. Wow. Massive yeah. gaping hole that one, Dan. Yeah. Give him a squeeze the sack. Open your sack, isn't it? Oh, go on. Push the sack. Paddle on the sack. Paddle on the sack, yeah. That must be, uh, don't Google that one. Yeah. 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 See you in a minute. Ten minutes. But Dan might not be here, because... Uh, well, anniversary. <laughs> ten o'clock limit. <laughs> Ten minutes have gone, switch off and cool down. Should I switch off? You're not going to see Dan again for the rest of the video. Yeah, I bet you want to see my Until wife. Tasty. Where can I buy flowers from? You yeah. better get down the garage, Dan. <laughs> yeah, can I find the garage? Yeah. Dude. Cheers, mate. Take yeah. care. See you, lads. Okay, so all we've got to do is cool down. Nice and easy, right? Ow. So that one goes into the one on the bottom of the coil. And this one onto the one onto the top of the coil. Feed that into the drain. I wonder if my fern will survive. Really hot. My word, peeps. We have a massive sack of stuff that we're putting tonight. Let me show you. I mean, look at that. It's like humongous. I think we're cool enough now to uh, decant. So, how good's my aim, Dan? Fire. Oh, I've got to pitch the yeast. Yeah, so I've sterilised the packet in the no rinse sanitizer, and this is a pitch direct. We're going to go directly into the work on this one. It's French saison yeast M29 from Mangrove Jacks. In it goes. There we go. And those little microbes can do their thing. One other thing. We need another gravity. We're going to use the old-fashioned hydrometer. 1038. We have lift off with the saison. We are just about to taste the, the beauty that it calls itself. Saison. I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, the move, Dan. That's good. Oh, look at that. Dan's giving himself some notes tonight. And the first. <laughs> the first one is poor. It's a clear. It's lively. It's been, it's been a few, oh, few months. Oh, I'm not, I'm not getting a job in a bar anytime soon, am I? Not on my bar. Nice and clear. What about yours, Dan? Look at the bubbles in that boy. Lively. Yeah. Yours, yours is certainly Ooh, continental. Very fresh. Any oranges? Oranges all, all day. Peppercorn? Not so much. No. Was it coriander? Coriander, yeah. I want to taste it. Right, I've done too much sniffing. Yeah. What's next on your list? Swig slush. Mm. What's that? Oh, slushy around your mouth. I like the bubbles. That's a lovely taste to me, that. I reckon that's a solid seven, possibly an eight. Oh. Okay, I would have gone a solid eight. Well, it's tasty, isn't it? It's got all the stuff it's in tasty. there. The only reason I'm only giving it a seven this time is because we've done it before. It's consistent. Yeah, but, but we haven't improved. But we haven't given it that X factor mm. from previous ones. Do you so. know what I think as well? Anyone who's thinking about, oh, should I put some, st oh, should I just stick to malt and hops? No, go for it. Trying to extend your range of different beers you brew just to mm. extend your taste. Because I would go down the barn and I'd probably never even think of holding a Saison previously. No. You know, it would be a bit uh, lager, yeah. uh, an well, IPA or something like, like that. Yeah. But now, yeah. Get on with it. Cheers, Dan. Good Cheers, Phil. Well done. Good make.